Good day, everyone. Welcome back. So I just have a few minutes, and I just want to quickly make a video uh, to show how to get an image from a disk or a flash drive. Uh, I've had a discussion on Discord for quite a while now regarding, and I made a blog post about it on my site, which I'll leave a link in the description uh, below. So I just wanted to quickly go through uh, the correct process because in my other video I didn't go through making an image and etc but I'm, I'm not gonna get a hash today of the drive and make it anything complicated I'm just gonna make this as simple as possible I do apologize for the background noise I have my son here with me as you know I'm a full-time single dad now so I don't really have a lot of time but I'm gonna try to get this video out um, and help one of our members in the discord there so I made a blog post and actually what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open my post, I think in the Kali Linux here to make things a little bit easier. I have DMD open. So in my blog post here, um, I mentioned that DMD is a data recovery software that can recover data from hard drives, external drives, USB drives, memory cards, and other storage devices. Okay. And you can uh, read this post a little bit later. So basically, uh, it's a three-step process, which we sort of went over in the last video, but I tend to ramble on, and maybe it was a little bit too complicated. So more or less, the process is to find and open a volume containing the lost data, open the virtual directory, which contains the lost data, and then select the items and navigate to the recovery in the menu. Okay? So now you need to identify the correct drive. Now I've gone ahead and just made a little drive here. There's a couple of ways you could do this. First of all, you can do lsblk and our drive is going to be right here, flash, which it's already mounted. Okay. And I've previously copied a file to this flash drive and deleted it just for the purposes of this video. The other way you can find out is you can go to disk if you're on genome and you can select the disk right here and you can see that I've got this little flash partition. It's actually an 8 gigabyte uh, gigabit drive or gigabyte uh, flash drive, but I've only used uh, 1 GB just to show this video. But you can see here it shows that it's uh, uh, DEV, the device SDB, right? And then the partition we want is right here, which shows the device uh, DEV SDB1. Okay, so that's what we're going after. Okay, so we've done that. Um, so we want to make an image of this particular drive. Okay, so I'm just going to do it on my root here. I don't have anything uh, really on this uh, Kali Linux. Uh, it's just a VM that I'm using. So I'm just going to actually, it's, it's the same partition as we can see here. As before, we've got, um, we've got SDB1. And you can see on my screenshot here, it's it's actually the same because I've done the same thing. So it's device SDB1. Okay, so I'm just going to copy this command right here to save time and just going to paste it. Okay. And you need to have the super user permissions, right? So let's do that. All right, so that's going to go through. Now there's other options and etc for uh, DD so if you actually search man DD on the internet uh, there's manual pages here there's there's other options but for me for this video this is fine okay we're gonna get an image and that's that's all I'm concerned about okay now the next thing you need to do is download DMDE so first DMD like I mentioned is a recovery software right so you can go to this website here dmde.com I love it I think it's great it downloads they've got it for Windows Mac Linux okay and I went with the the GUI for Linux 64-bit okay and I've already downloaded that so I'm gonna go to my downloads folder here and that should open in just a second and you can see that I already have it here so what I'm going to do is open up another terminal here and I'm just going to launch this application okay and I actually installed LibreOffice earlier so I can uh, 
<clears throat> open the file that I deleted. And, oops, what did I do there? Did something wrong. Okay, so you can see we've got our image. It's done. And that's going to be right here, this image right here. Okay. So let me open the DMDE. I just got an error there. I don't even know what that was. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, so what we want to do is it says uh, it says here to recover, remove files, and for virtual disk, it's like a pop up here. So let me see if I can. I can't really get rid of that message there. So I want to look for a disk image, and it's going to ask me where. So it's going to be, where is it? It's going to be here. Um, well, it's it's not supported with the image that I that I done. So in any event, I made the wrong image type. Um, let's try any file. It should work with this any file. Okay, and I've got the. I'm gonna minimize this here. We don't need this anymore. So I'm just gonna say, okay. There we go. Let me try to make this a little bigger. So once we have our flash drive there, um, we can do a full scan or we can open the volume. So I'm just gonna click open volume for now, and you can see that this file right here was the file that I deleted earlier and it's got the little garbage can on the icon so I'm just gonna select this file okay go to tools and recover okay so it's gonna ask me the file and you want to make sure that we have marked only selected okay and I want to recover to let's just say oops let's go into let's go into my documents here Okay, I'm going to select OK. And uh, I'm going to say yes. It's just doing whatever it wants to make sure this or OK. So different drives, yes. So it says it's recovered. OK, so let's go check. So if I open my file explorer here, go to my documents, and you can see the file that I deleted is now here. OK, so I know that was a little bit quick, and I hope this video helped but if you go to my website I've got the full explanation here on this on this particular uh, blog post I'm using Windows but as you can see this this corresponding video is with Linux okay so if you have any questions let me know and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one thanks